Hey, welcome to another episode of The Bold and the Beautiful. It seems like Sheila had a heart attack. And everyone comes in, the alley, the police, the FBI, Ridge, and asks what did Bill do. And he says that Sheila is faking a heart attack. Then we see Ridge and Bill decides to celebrate after she, she Faker says that he will take over. And Nick and stands there is looking concerned. Over at the hospital, we see Steffi and Phil, Finn is still at the hospital making out. And they mention not worrying about Sheila. Then we see Brooke, Stephen and Lucy goes to visit Eric and Donna. And apparently Ridge texts everyone to meet up at Eric's. Then we see Taylor arrives also and says that she got the same text. We go back to El Giardino and we see the guys, Bill Deacon and Ridge, share a drink. And Ridge and Bill are celebrating at Sheila going away. And Ridge invites Bill to come with him to, over to Eric's to, to show... Because he wants everyone needs to know what Bill did to get rid of Sheila. Back at Eric, Stephen continues to rant about Ridge. Taylor and Eric defends Ridge, but Lucy helps Stephen drag Ridge for his patterns of hurting Brooke and says that he is not protecting his family. He should have been here. Ridge says some Ridge, Stephen says Ridge is somewhere licking his wounds. Then we see Carter and Katie arrives. Back at El Giardino, Rich tells them that it's time to find out the truth. We see Dee can have flashbacks, and we learn that the day when Rich and Bill, we learned of the day that Rich and Bill convinced Deacon to get on board with the taking down of Sheila. And Deacon is clearly distracted, and he says he did it for his daughter. Then we see Ridge and Bill tells Deacon that they will not tell anyone, especially Brooke and Hope, about Deacon's romance with Sheila. Then we see Sheila arrives at the ER. Then we see that Lee is the doctor that is treating her, and she is shocked to see Sheila. Ridge then arrives at Eric's, and Taylor asks what is going on, and we see that Ridge went alone. Bill is still at the bar drinking with Deacon, and Bill tells Deacon that he is allowing Ridge to set things up first, and they discuss the sacrifices Bill made to get rid of Sheila. Bill then leaves to go over to Eric, and says that he hopes Sheila had a real heart attack. Deacon seems sad by this. Then at the hospital, we see a nurse approach Finn and Steffi and tells him that his mom is with a patient by the name of Sheila Carter. And he and Steffi is in shock and they run to go see. Over at Eric's, Ridge says that he missed both Taylor and Brooke. Stable then curses at Ridge and calls him worthless for abandoning the family and says he hopes Ridge has a good reason for being away. And Ridge says yes, he does. Everyone says Ridge checks out and left the family behind and they all go at Ridge one by one. They complain about how the family is in danger because of what Bill did. Then Bill walks in and Eric yells, says that you are not inviting here. I do not want you in my house. And Ridge says, let them know that let I'm going to let you know that I'm the one who invited Bill. Eric, Brooke, and Taylor yells that Bill has to go, and Eric says that Bill is not welcome. Ridge tells Stephen to shut up and let him talk. Ridge says that they can talk. He says that they can take a sigh of relief because of what Bill has done to get rid of Sheila. And they say, you brought Sheila into our lives, so what, what could you have done? Reed says that Sheila is out of our lives now because of Bill. Steffi and Finn rush down to see Sheila. And then we see Lee is watching over Sheila in the bed while they arrive. And she has flashbacks of when Sheila found her and Finn while she was nursing Finn back to life. Finn looks on the monitors and says that Sheila is in a bad shape. And Finn wants to help her. But Lee wants to let her die. Then we see Sheila's the machine starts to flat high, flat line. And Lee tells Finn to let her die. Thanks for watching. Bye.